Hello everyone, Vince here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you one of the best iPhone cases out there on the market today for the iPhone 4. It's called the Lux case from iFrogs. L-U-X-E. That's how you spell Lux. There might be many different pronunciations to that uh, name, but I'm going to be calling it the Lux case in this video. And um, like I said, this is for the iPhone 4. My new iPhone 4 is right here. And um, I bought this at the AT&T store for 30 bucks, mainly because it's one of the best cases out there as of July 5th, 2010. And I say that because many different manufacturers might be making cases in the near future that I might like better than this case. But as of July 5th, I love this case. And um, I'm going to be telling you why right now. The number one reason why I love this case, it comes in a matte finish. So when you're holding it, it doesn't show as much fingerprints as it would on a glossy finished case. And so I love matte finish cases. Number two, it comes in two parts. So the top part and the bottom part. So just imagine an iPhone in here. Um, when I remove the bottom part, I can actually dock it with my universal dock with no problem. And when I'm done docking it, I can just put back the bottom piece and it'll be a good case again. Also, I love this case because of the padding inside. So when you slide your iPhone inside, you won't have to worry about the back scratching because there's actual cushion in here, actual padding in here. So you, had, you don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's actually put it in the iPhone so you can see what it looks like. So all you have to do is slide it in. So let me slide it in. So you just slide it in gently. And you actually hear the padding doing its job. You, you don't hear it. You hear because of the padding so that comforts you so you know that the back's not getting scratched so you put it all the way at the top and then you put the bottom piece in and actually you can put the bottom piece in then the top piece or the top piece in the bottom piece it doesn't really matter so you slide the bottom piece in and then there's this little hole that goes under the circle so no let me rephrase that there's this little circle that goes under the hole of the top part so it snaps in so push it all the way up and that snaps in. All right, so this is what the actual case looks like with the iPhone 4 inside. It adds very little bulk to the iPhone 4, which is great. I hate cases that add bulk to the iPhone 4, but I love this case since it doesn't. And um, it protects the iPhone 4. It protects the whole right side, the whole back side with the exception of the camera, the whole left side with the exception of the plus minus volume buttons and the vibrate non-vibrate switch. Um, it protects the sides of the screen but still shows the screen. So I like this because I like uh, the beauty of the screen that Apple produced. So it only protects the sides of the screen, which is okay for me. And on the top, you can see the headphone jack and the um, power button switch. And at the bottom, the mic, the speaker, and the dock connector. So that's the iPhone 4 with the iFrogs Lux case. There's nothing more for me to say other than for you to look at it. It's a very nice case. And I forgot to mention this comes in a variety of colors with red and blue and I think pink. And this is also available for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. They have a version for that model of the iPhone. This is a great case. Very great case. So don't buy Apple's bumper. Buy this case instead. It's the same price and it also protects the back and does more. And it actually is dockable too. All right, so that's the review of the iFrogs Lux case. You can check more out at iFrogs.com, and you can actually buy this case at your local AT&T store because iFrogs uh, cases are exclusive to the AT&T store, and you can also buy it at iFrogs.com. And that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and have a good day. I hope you decide to buy this case because it's a very good case for me. Bye-bye.